Shelby here, and today I'm going to be doing another scratch tutorial. Uh, this scratch tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to do a scroller game <coughs> for scratch. So, yeah, let's get to it. So, we're going to delete the cat, we can, or go to the backdrop, fill this with that color, or a greenish color. And right, now you're going to create <coughs> your now you're going to create your sprite where it's going to move around so you're going to make sure <clears throat> that the, um, the, the eyes are facing this way so I'm going to make them a nice blue you can, okay so I'm going to make this look terribly for the sake of the tutorial but it's gonna, it can be an 8x8 <clears throat> it has to be an 8x8 and it has to be facing uh, that way so uh, now that you got that rename this um, <clears throat> Um, I'm just gonna give a random name. You can name him whatever you want, but I'm just gonna name him, uh, uh, I'm gonna name him, uh, Reg. There you go. I'll just call him that for the. Alright. <clears throat> now, when that is clicked, go to zero, zero, R forever. It's always gonna go to zero, zero, no matter what. So, if I move this over here, it's. You're gonna see there. So now you're gonna set the size to 300. There you go. Okay. All right. <clears throat> now you're gonna create a new script uh, forever. You have four commands. And uh, if key up arrow is pressed, motion point in direction <clears throat> zero. Just remove these, so alright now make sure there are four of these so key down arrow is pressed point in direction 180 key right arrow is pressed point in direction 90 if key left arrow is pressed point in direction negative 90 so try this out there we go okay now we're going to create our little obstacles in this thing so let's make, I'm going to make a tree so like that well, let me just uh, form and turn this into this. It's gonna make a really weird looking tree. So now this method I learned just I just learned it by myself. The last scratch tutorial I did I learned that one from Matt Dan Gaming, but this one I just made up by myself. Um, just made a really weird looking tree right there, and uh, and. Oh, I'm just gonna make a tree just for the sake of the tutorial. I'm gonna make it really bad and make it look a bit 8 bit so that it looks really cool. We all know we love 8 bit. We all know 8 bit games are absolutely the best. <clears throat> um, alright. Alright, and uh, there we go. So you have your tree. Oh, pretty good. Alright, now we're gonna set the size to 300 so when you're making a pixelated one you're going to set the size to 300 now we're going to make a variable and this is only for this sprite only we're going to call it scroll x now for each obstacle that you do make sure it's for that sprite only and uh, scroll y there we go all right uh scroll x to uh, 100, negative 200. All right, now we're gonna do this forever, and it's gonna go to scroll X and scroll Y. There you go. So, <clears throat> so set the size to 300. It can be anything for the scroll X and anything for the scroll Y. So, and then always go to uh, scroll X and scroll Y. So. Nuts. Oh, I wanted this to be 100 so it didn't look as weird. There we go. Uh, let's it make it big bigger, I guess. There we go, that's good. Okay, now, another, when that is clicked, forever, if key up arrow is pressed, Change scroll Y by negative 10. So you can test this out. There we go. Now uh, duplicate and down arrow. Change Y by uh, 10. So 
now it should go like there you go. So that's better. That's actually really good. Uh, duplicate this right arrow. Is you're gonna change the scroll X by negative one and the uh, left arrow change the scroll X. So if we move around, we can uh, move around, I guess. And uh, let's make. Hey, we're gonna make this a bit bigger to 800, I guess, because this is kind of small. There we go. That is awesome. That's a good looking tree. Um, right. <clears throat> Alright, and uh, I'm just going to duplicate this. And uh, make this a different kind of tree. I guess it can be a, a birch tree. Uh, you know, I'm just going to make this one a birch tree. Kind of like in Minecraft, I guess. There we go. We're gonna set this to 200, negative 100, I guess. So there we go. And like that. So it looks uh, a lot better. But this one, I just want to change it to a uh, bunch building. We erase all this. Right, clear. Um, we're gonna make a building. Uh, sort of like a building, I guess. Uh, like that, like that. And it's just gonna be a simple building. You know, a little house, so like this, like that, like this, 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 like this. Fill this in with this. There you go. And then make the door. Just fill this in with that. And then make the door different colors or like a brown. And I'm just gonna add a window here. Right in there. And uh, there we go. So I have a really bad house. But that's for the sake of it. We're gonna move one around. Let's put that. But I'm gonna make this closer to the. Um, so uh, it's gonna be 150 and. Uh, Negative one twenty five, I guess. Ah, there we go. It's close. Ah, uh, this might be better. I'm negative thirty five, and um, spawn right next to the tree. There you go. All right, now that you got those, you can make a border. Which the easiest way to do this is to get this. Make sure it's black and fill. Make sure this is the highest or the thicket. But I cannot speak to that. Uh, zoom in on this. There we go. And that's the border. And it's going to go to the front and go to zero. There we go. So you now have your very simple scrolling game right here. Uh, you want to add some other stuff like, um, like items that you can find. I guess you can do that. But yeah, you can make your scrolling game however you want. But just whatever you do, make sure the this is the borders in front. So I'm actually gonna re rename this to. Uh... All right, and. Uh... I'm just going to rename this one to tree. And uh, there you go. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a, a like. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.